Hey, I'm Zach Danziger. I'm here to show you some stuff I do with my sort of hybrid electronic acoustic drum rig and triggering melodies and visuals from the kit. It's a very dynamic and interactive MIDI setup. The computer reacts to things I play and then I in turn react to things I'm hearing coming back from the computer. This often leads to lots of improvisational possibilities. I've been using this technology and concepts with groups like Boomish, Mr. Barrington, and with Owen Biddle as Edit Bunker for a TED Talk a couple of years back. Everything you see and hear in this clip is being triggered in real time from pickups on my drums and cymbals as well as MIDI pads and MIDI controllers. There are no loops, backing tracks, click tracks, or any fixed grid of any kind. And I'll break down a lot of the stuff that you're seeing in the videos and see if we can clear up uh, a little bit about you know, what exactly I do and how I go about doing it. So we're going to take a four bar chord progression that I have uh, midied in here and we're going to apply those sounds to the drum kit with uh, the triggered elements. So I have chords every time I hit the floor tom and I have single notes of those chords on the two stack cymbal sets. I'm only using three chords in this example. You can use as many as you like. I just wanted to show how much mileage you can get out of using just a few chords. Another thing you can do is that if you're playing live with other musicians, take a MIDI out of their rig into the MIDI in on the laptop rig. Then you have all of their chords and melody data coming into your rig, and you can trigger those off of the drums in real time. So now I have an eight chord progression that I'm able to cycle through every time I hit the pad. You can assign it to a foot switch if you want, whatever you like. Uh, I'll play the eight chords. So again, the same thing applies. I can now map these out to the different instruments and get melodic offshoots of these chords. And you're not locked into a click this way, you can change tempos, you can stay on chords as long as you want. It's just another avenue and a way to explore chords and playing off of them on the kit.
Okay, we're gonna apply some visuals to the set. And I've got different shapes mapped to different drums in different colors. So you got the kick, got the snare, got this stack, got this stack, and you got the floor tom. Okay, then within that you can change up some filters. I've got different filters here. So you got Okay, so there's a lot you can do with just shapes and it adds a nice like visual that goes along in time and behaves and responds in different ways to your playing and it's uh, syncing up as you like it. So it's definitely a cool thing to mess around with.